Welcome, crypto fam, to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest Bitcoin technical analysis as we already recaptured 70,000 a little earlier this morning. Also breaking news exactly two years ago, the nation of Madeira declared Bitcoin legal and eliminated all taxes on hodlers. And quoting Max Kaiser, flooding, crop failures, commodity price spikes, insurance company failures, rising in interest rates, uh, bank failures, war famine, pestilence. Feel free to live in denial, but the facts remain Bitcoin 220,000 in play. Send it. We'll also be discussing Bitcoin pretty unlikely to revisit the 50,000 price level, according to on-chain analyst Dylan LeClaire. We'll also be discussing whale holding almost 600 million in Bitcoin, sends Bitcoin to Binance after after being dormant for eight months, we'll be checking out the latest data from Look On Chain, as well as Pantera Capital's crypto fund surges 66% amid the ongoing market optimism, as well as the Bitcoin halving will have a battle with a weak time of the year, according to Coinbase. And as we know, that halving is scheduled to take place in 11 more days. We'll also be discussing Pharma Bro, Martin Scarelli, predicts a 75% chance of Bitcoin smashing $1 million per coin this year by the end of 2024. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this, plus so much more in today's show. Quick shout out to Marty Memeheimer. Congrats on becoming a member of the MicroStrategy membership of the channel. Greatly appreciate all the memberships and all the support we can get here. Shout out to everyone in the live chat. What up, Jennifer? What up, Matt? What's a kicking? Holla. Welcome, Renee. Welcome, Devon. Welcome, Erica, Bina, Zach, what time are you expecting for this weekend price? From your opinion, are we going to see a pump or a dump? I think right now the 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 line in the sand is 70,000. I think if we recapture it, which we already hit earlier today when I checked the price action, we're likely to continue pumping, uh, especially considering just 11 more days until the halving. But anything can happen. Uh, be prepared and expect more continued extreme volatility with volatility equaling life force and opportunity. So we welcome it. Shout out Peter Curtis. You're very welcome, family. Welcome to the stream. Crypto Voodoo, what it do? Welcome to the pod. Pump it up. Shout out Salim uh, Piano and everyone joining the stream. Pump the likes to pump the stream. We're up 900 on the day. And uh, yeah, nice little Sunday pumpage for you. Shout out Nick. Shout out Steve. Shout out Ashley. Welcome to the stream. Good morning from Melbourne, Australia. Shout out to the Aussies. Welcome, welcome. Pump it up. Onwards. OMG. You already know, Laura. One milli. Send it. That's according to Martin Scarelli. Pharma bro. Good afternoon. Welcome, Expos John. Dips are good to buy, JV. Yeah, you're right about that. Take advantage of it, BTFD. Corrections are the way for the market to go higher. 100% with you on that, Jennifer. Send it to the all-time high again. Now we're talking. Shout out, Zach. Shout out, OG. Bootleg. What it do? I would buy nothing and still hold. Right on. 100,000 this cycle, guys. Hoddle. Hoddle be thy name. Kyrie, what up? Mr. Menendez, good afternoon. Rizzo, Paul, Stephen, Tom, cheers, family. Pump the likes to pump the stream. Beautiful day here in the markets. 70 G's, baby. Let's go. Shout out, Marcos. Welcome. Corona free. What it do? Stack more bits. Reach two whole coins. Congratulations, Corona free. This one's for you. Pump, pump it up. Pump it up if your game and went long. Yeah. When the dip hits, you just stay like King Kong. 77 says Menendez, send it. Tomorrow is the new day. Pump it up. Hello from Oslo. Today, new all time high coming. I can feel it. Shout out Tom Ferris. JV, I got no notification. I searched CNA and it showed nothing coming or live. I usually get notifications. I think YouTube trouble upcoming. Very possible there, C list. Uh, I mean, we have been shadow banned since many years, so not surprised, but that's important. If you guys aren't getting notifications, maybe try turning them off and reset them by turning them back on and make sure you got all notifications turned on. You're supposed to be getting not only notif uh, notified, notified within the YouTube ecosystem, you should also be getting emailed. And if you're not, 
that's on YouTube, obviously. So it is what it is. Women with Bitcoin in their wallets are top G females. That's right. Shout out to all the top G ladies. Laura, never selling. Surprise doesn't matter. Exactly, Berg. You got that right. Rob C. Hello from the UK. Shit out UK. What's the second best? Well, according to Sailor. Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? There is no second best. I'm not saying I'm number one. Uh, I'm sorry, I lied. I'm number one, two, three, four, and five. Shit out Jerry Reynolds. The state of South Carolina in the building. Shit out South Carolina. And fam here from all over the world. Just tuning in. Sunday, fun day, pump day. Yesterday was that stack and Saturday. Hopefully you took advantage of it. So you guys are crushing it. This week's going to be a big week. Only a, a week and a half until the having family. Let that sink in. It's go time. But anyways, fam, without further ado, if you're new to the channel, important to smash the subscribe button to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every day, just like this. Also important to smash the like as it helps out tremendously with a YouTube algorithm, and especially if you're gaining value out of today's pod. Today is episode number uh, 1602. So that's right, 1602. I'm your host, JV. It's April 7, 2024, another Sunday pump day. Yesterday was that stack and Saturday, so hopefully you took advantage of it. Uh, checking out uh, Coin360, we got Bitcoin currently above 69,300. We already surpassed 70,000 a little earlier in the day. We also have Ether hovering at around 3,400, while the major alts are pumping back in the green. Checking out CoinMarketCap.com, we're sitting on roughly a 2.6 trillion market cap with over 62 billion in volume for the past 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance still on the rise at 52.9% with the Ether dominance at 15.7%. And checking out the top one. Hundo crypto gainers for the past 24 hours. We got WIF up 16%, followed by CKB up 12.5%, followed by Pepe up 11.11%. Happy 11.11. And below that, Gala, Doge, and Ordi. Now, which alts are you guys most bullish on for this particular bull run? Let me know in the live chat. And checking out the crypto bubbles to get a visual perspective on the day. Safe to say the majority of the alts, I'd say 80 to 85% pumping it in the green and zooming out on the monthly. It's pretty much a mixed bag, maybe 55 to 60% in the red and 45 to 50% in the green. And checking out uh, the Crypto Greed and Fear Index as of today, we are currently rated A78, Extreme Greed. Yesterday, 75, last week, a 75, and last month, an 81 in Extreme Greed. And as you can see here, only 11 days and five hours left till Bitcoin having 2024 with the scheduled date set to take place. April 19th, we're currently on block height, 838,184. As soon as we hit 840,000, it's official. And checking out the Time Chain Calendar from timechaincalendar.com. It shows you the block we're currently on, 838,185. And you can currently trade uh, $1 for 1,443 Satoshis. That's right. And where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to be within the next 11 days at the time of the halving? Holla. Uh, a mercy receives, says ICP. She, baby, says Rizzo. Uh, appreciate you, Sharon. Smells like securities. That's right. One of the jammy jams we be playing quite often here. Wearing my Reebok pumps today. Remember the Reebok pumps? Pump it up. Sunday pumps into Monday pumps. Let's go. Which one's the best crypto asset? Well, Bitcoin's the best crypto asset. Okay. What's the second best? Buck the securities. That's right. Buck the Fed while you're at it, Devon. I like Brett. Base chain seems it. 99.9% .9 of my portfolio will always be Bitcoin, says Marty. Uh, thank you for sharing. Shout out to the Beach Guy Dave. What it do? Beach Guy Dave. Yeah, man. Uh, what's the price six months ago? Add a zero to that. You know, get a probable cycle peak if Bitcoin follows historical patterns. I think this is a super cycle. I hope you're right, Jennifer. Super cycle. Send it. Hyper Bitcoinization. Could this be the cycle? The second best is P O O R with the two eyeballs. That's actually hilarious. Word up, Beach Guy Dave. 
more than five shots in your shack, then get it on. Yeah. Had the people on my back to get a song. Yeah. Red broke, have a talk, we smoke them like a bomb. Boom. But anyways, fam, now let's dive into today's Bitcoin technical analysis. Check out some of the charts where the price action is likely to go next. Be sure to pump the likes to pump the stream. Much appreciated. Here you can see on the Bitcoin one hour chart, Bitcoin headed higher into the April 11th weekly close as uncharacteristic weekend Bitcoin price action boosted the bulls. That's right. Trading view showed a sudden move above 69,000 during the weekend with Bitcoin hitting local highs of 69,800 on Bitstamp. And with the close now just hours away. Traders evoke similar weekend scenarios, hoping upside would continue into the new week. Quoting Dan Crypto Trades, not your typical weekend as price has mostly grinded up the entire weekend instead of just hovering at the same level. We have seen this kind of price action a few times during our initial move to 70,000 plus. Often saw a quick wick after futures reopened back into up only mode. And for uh, analyst Mikhail Bende Pop, the area immediately above 69,000 was acting as a crucial uh line in the sand, quoting him here. If this breaks, we'll likely see a strong continuation towards the all-time highs, pre-having, and the current all-time high of 73,800. And this chart noted the ongoing existence of a bearish divergence, heightening the odds of a Bitcoin price rejection at that 72 thousand level and quitting rack capital can it hold above 69,000 until the weekly close is in so that's the million dollar question right now let me know if you think that is favorable and with bitcoin approaching new april highs optimism is also focused on the institutional inflows and how they might shape up moving forward a rebound into net flows amongst the u.s spot bitcoin etfs last week set the tone along with news that bankrupt crypto lending firm genesis finished selling billions of dollars worth of shares of their product, GBTC. And at the same time, the largest global asset manager of BlackRock, one of the ETF operators, which now has over 260,000 Bitcoin, revealed it added various big name US banks as authorized participants. And per the latest data from Farside, April 5th ended the net ETF inflows of just over 200 million, with the week's total at around 500 and $70 million. And breaking news as shared here, exactly two years ago, the nation of Madeira declared Bitcoin legal and eliminated all taxes on hodlers. And quoting the high priest, Max Kaiser, giving us a warning, flooding, crop failures, commodity price spikes, insurance company failures, rising interest rates, bank failures, war, famine, pestilence. Feel free lot to live in denial, but the facts remain. Bitcoin, $220,000 in play. Send it. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the high priest. Shout out LeVan, 75,000 at the halving. We'll create the FOMO. Send in the institutional FOMO. Everything trends to zero in Bitcoin terms. Precisely. Bitcoin being the apex predator. Welcome, Philip. What it do? Dope hat, bro. Appreciate that. Bitcoin Burge, go to one Billy. Now we're talking, Mr. Piano. Pretty pump today. Respect the pump, little germ. Cheers to that. It's almost 420 somewhere on Earth. Always 420 somewhere on Earth. Oh, yeah, we heard Kramer report that. Thank you. He said, he said, we bought more bags. Till we got a sword back. Let's go. Devon, I dig it. Where the bulls at? The nation of what? No, I didn't say Nigeria. <laughs> Madeira. I think I said my Madeira, if I'm pronouncing it right, Madeira, Madeira, you guys let me know. Eclipse is going to pump the price. That's right. We get the lunar eclipse tomorrow, less than 24 hours out. I got my eclipse glasses today, says Illumina. No doubt we in store for some serious gains as they destroy uh, their legacy system. Tell them. You already know, fam. Somewhere on Earth is 420 somewhere at least twice a day. Facts, KJM. Let them know. Yes, please pump the likes. We appreciate it. It does help out tremendously with the live stream. First and foremost, this is a live and interactive show. So don't be a stranger. Let me know where you're tuned in from. I'm broadcasting live from Puerto Rico. We have 366 people here right now on the tube. We're also live over on Rumble. So shout out to the Rumble fam. You pronounced it right the first time. Thank you, Marty. Funky Cold Madeira. There we go, Bitmas Prime. Welcome. Sounds like it. See this? It does sound like it. <laughs> it's always 420 in my crib, says Joe. Cheers to that. Now, we all know Bitcoin. Is, is that Portugal, Madeira? Is that where they just recently had the event? Wasn't that Madeira, Spain? Is the best asset. Erico says Puerto Rico and La Casa. 
Net break. Portuguese. You agree? Do you agree? Everybody's ready for the government shenanigans tomorrow for the eclipse. I'm ready, Jennifer. And I'll be streaming live. So we'll be going live at 4 p.m. tomorrow. The upcoming options on the spotty test will bring in more institutions, says Thomas. It is 420 now, bro. That's right. Two minutes till 420. Send it. <laughs> Here in Puerto Rico, at least. Alberta, Canada in the building. Eldornia, welcome. Now I'm going to pack a few bong rips. Do what I do. Co Colorado, always up in here in the chat watching. Bring down the trolls. You got to do what you got to do. Shout out to the mods. You already know. From your favorite place, Port Richie, says Steve Shaw. Shout out Pasco County. Bitcoin Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Working in Jordan from Ireland. Nice, DJ Johnny. Ontario, Canada. JV Fishing Improved Bro, stacked again today. Congratulations, shout out South Africa, Indiana, in the path of the eclipse. You already know Devon, Madeira is in Portuguese. So it's in Portugal. Good, that's what's up. So let's go Portugal. Very favorable tax laws there, I would, I would imagine. So the autonomous Portuguese islands. Oh, makes sense for tourism, thanks on that. Poughkeepsie, New York. Shout out New York, Corona free, welcome Athens, Greece, stress free, Germany, golly, Isle of Man, Bitmus Prime, send it, haha, -ha. that's good, we may play that clip here in a bit, but let's dive into our next story of the day and discuss 50,000, very unlikely, according to on-chain analyst Dylan LeClaire, the frequency of the Bitcoin reaching higher support prices, as well as the lack of immediate froth in derivative markets, suggest the price is unlikely to retrace down to 50,000. Sorry, bears. And that's not happening anytime soon, according to the analyst. Senior analyst Dylan LeClaire explained in his note April 7th that if Bitcoin rises back into the 70, 75,000 price range, it'll put significant pressure on short positions, quoting him again, as we have consolidated an increasing amount of short liquidations are building from 70 to 75,000, happy 420. If Bitcoin's price rises to 70,000, approximately 174 million will get liquidated as per data from CoinGlass. And should it reach the upper boundary of Le uh, Leclerc's range of 75,000, that's 830 million worth of short positions facing liquidation. This translates to roughly 8% increase from the Bitcoin current price of 69.3. Likewise, a similar percentage change of 7.5%, but in a downward movement occurred on March 15th, resulting in a half a billion worth of liquidations. Leclerc explained, although a decline in the price of Bitcoin to 50,000, which is a 27% decrease from the current price, it could trigger substantial liquidation of long positions, and he doesn't foresee it considering the recent price shifts and the increasing support levels. Uh, quoting him again, while there is a large cluster of longs that could be taken out at 50 Gs, given the structure of higher lows and the lack of immediate froth in derivatives landscape currently, I find it pretty unlikely we revisit the level. And not impossible, of course, he warned. Bitcoin's latest price dip below 50,000 just February 13th when we tapped 49,725 before our epic ascent into, you know, the 70,000 range. Now, just the day before February 12th, it reached 50,000, a level not reached since December 2021. And he backed up his claim, citing the recent action by BlackRock, which updated its IBIT prospectus April 5th, adding five big Wall Street firms as new authorized Participants, members including ABM, Armo Clearing, Citadel Securities, Citigroup, Global Markets, Goldman Sachs, and UBS Securities. And prominent crypto traders are speculating over the Bitcoin price ahead of the halving event scheduled to take place on 420. This event occurs every four years and will cut the minor block rewards by 50% from six and a quarter BTC to three point. One two five. Now, as reported, the Bitcoin price has risen around 650%, which is six and a half X, the last Bitcoin having in 2020. How many of you were around for that? Let me know in the chat. And if historical chart patterns were to repeat, the Bitcoin price would reach 434,000 per coin by the 2028 halving if it performs similarly to the current cycle. And crypto trader Rec Capital believes there's considerable potential for further upwards movement in the short term. He told his followers April 7th that the market is approximately one third through the bull market phase. Let me know if you agree or disagree with 
that sentiment and regarding this analysis holla shout out benny avlis welcome to the stream some guys are still waiting for twelve thousand, but they ain't around here no more this is true <laughs> this is true you got some of the solo a fans hey guys what happened to the 12k three three thousand target i'm waiting for bitcoin to crack the point zero zero eight says salim Have you been to Italy and eaten Italian? Yes, says K-Jam. Amen to that. Yes and yes. We were all around during the having, but you was in the game or not? I mean, that's the million-dollar question, and that's what it comes down to. Did you stack sats accordingly, or did you blow the opportunity? Cause JB brings crypto news every day of the week. Appreciate the super, Rudy. I greatly appreciate the support. Respect, family, and thank you. Uh, 85,000 by 420. I dig it. A new all time high. Let's go. Next leg up, clearly going to be in the 80s. So I dig that. I'd like to see that in the next 13 days here, Joe. What up, Legends? Shout out to Legend McLovin. Appreciate you. Kevin Smith running with the Bulls. Amen to that. Can't short your doors, we can't afford that. Nope. Wait for the pump to come, we should have bought that. Yeah. Crypto to zero, they really thought oh, that. <laughs> And we still got 420 on the stream. Pump the likes, fam. Pump the stream. We appreciate it. I was here for that rebuy, says Paul C. Good to hear. Everyone here, steady, stay stacking sats. That's one thing for show. Shout out to Little Bubble. <laughs> Always in the in the mix here. We playing a lot of his jammy jams. Respect. And also shout out Robbie P. All the greats, all the legends producing the iconic Bitcoin tunes. I've been waiting for a correction for 15 years. <laughs> Piano. Word. Have you been in Bitcoin for 15 years? If so, phenomenal. Well done. How high do you think Bitcoin will go this bull run? Says Martin Anderson. I think the bull scenario, in my opinion, is 775,000. That's not to say Martin Scarelli's target of 1 million this year can't come true, but I think most likely I give it a range of 222,000 being my bear scenario, as high as 775 being my ultimate bull scenario. And that is for the cycle peak, not necessarily this year. It could be this year, it could be next year. Time will tell. Shout out to yourself, JV. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. 80,000 tonight. Let's go. Send it, little germ. Hoping Satoshi is enjoying life. Amen. It was just uh, Satoshi's birthday uh, the other day. Both Madeira and the Canary Islands give Portugal to Spain, respectively, a lot of exclusive economic waters in the Atlantic. Good to note, Celis. We learn something new every day. Great insights there. I think Bitcoin will go to 59,000 in 48 hours. The eclipse will turn the internet down. Anything's possible. So you're ultimately saying a black swan here, Jose. We'll soon find out. JV has been in Bitcoin for over 24 years. This is true, KJM. <laughs> Since birth, 41 years. Pump it up. Amen. Hit the like. Thank you, Fairground. Welcome, Randy. Welcome, everyone. Join the stream. Pump the likes. Pump the stream. But let's dive into our next story of the day and discuss what's going on over here. Whale well, holding $600 million in Bitcoin sends Bitcoin to Binance after being dormant for eight months. Who could it be? Let's break it down. The Bitcoin whale with nearly 600 million worth of BTC deposited the large amount of its coins onto the largest exchange in the world, being Binance. And according to blockchain tracking firm Look On Chain, the whale that has been dormant for the past eight months sent 74 million in Bitcoin to Binance, but still holds 600 million worth the BTC, quoting them here, a whale that had been dormant for eight months transferred 2,000 Bitcoin to a new wallet on Thursday, then deposited 1,100 Bitcoin into Binance. This whale currently holds 8,900 BTC worth roughly $600 million. Now, look on chain also has its radar locked on the crypto giant Grayscale. According to the firm, Grayscale shed 77 million worth of Bitcoin on Friday, but still holding on to nearly 22 billion worth of Bitcoin to back it. It's ETF, quoting them here. Grayscale decreased 1,154 Bitcoin and currently holds 326,000 BTC, which is 22 billion. BlackRock added 2,000 Bitcoin and currently holds 259,000 Bitcoin worth over 17 billion. The nine ETFs, including Grayscale, added 3,400 Bitcoin worth over 
229 million. I mean, check out these charts here. It clearly shows you uh, the iShares Bitcoin Trust by BlackRock controls the largest amount, roughly 260,000 Bitcoin, followed by the Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund, holding 149,000, followed by ARK, Bitwise, Invesco, Van Eck, Valkyrie, Franklin, and Grayscale. And obviously, Grayscale has had the largest outflows as of recently, but also now tremendous inflows as they just announced buying, I think, a billion dollars, which I shared on yesterday's pod. So in the second week of March, Grayscale also led the offloading of the institutional capital from crypto products. The digital asset manager said the market uncertainty made investors more hesitant as evidenced by the lower inflows into the ETFs. Grayscale spearheaded the outflows with over $2 billion, leaving it products during the week. Uh, quoting them here, we believe the recent price correction led to the hesitancy from investors, leading to much lower inflows into new ETF issuers in the United States, which saw US $1.1 billion worth of inflows, partially offsetting incumbent Grayscale's significant $2 billion worth of outflows. So there you have it. My crypto fam, let me know your thoughts on that and welcome everyone just joining the live stream. Is CZ pumping BNB? Where has CZ been? He's missing in action. Can anyone recommend a good Bitcoin mini miner? I am kind of curious, says McLovin. Welcome, JW. What it do? Range 150 to 500. I dig it stress free. How much more of the miners are hodling now? Fantastic question. Sniff. It's going to be so salty. We're referring to Peter Shifty, eh? I mean, when is it he not salty? JV, does Puerto Rico have favorable tax treatment? I think you know the answer of that, John, if you ask me. And yes, it does. If you um, qualify and make this your primary residence and take advantage of Act 60, you can most definitely take advantage of zero capital gains tax on all investments, family, including cryptocurrency. That's why you got Peter Sniff here <laughs> and many other influencers. Los Angeles in the house. Grabbles, the real range, 80 to 140, 2024, 2025. Why so bearish? Can Grayscale be so foolish? Lower your fees, guys. Right, Steve? There must be some thought behind it, you would imagine. But yeah, a lot of people leaving their fund into other funds with lower fees. Grayscale sold their Cardano for XRP. Interesting. The Sniffinator, Robbie Kaiser. Shout out to the Sniffinator. CZ has been getting sued for $40 billion. Is he right now? They want every dime, huh? Uh, crypto reigns supreme over nearly everyone. Shout out from New York City. Shout out Larry Innes Jr. Appreciate you. I bet Mr. 100 is Jeff Bezos. We'll soon see, man. If he makes the announcement, that's pretty big. What if Amazon were to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment? Whoa, right? The largest marketplace in the world online. That'd be pretty lit. So if he is Mr. 100, kudos to him. Are we yet 2% of popularity? I don't even think so, Paul. On the grand scheme of things, I highly, I'm highly, i highly doubtful. We've even tapped that. Guy Devar said it's National Beer Day, and the bartender said you should try a margarita. Guy said no. Water bartender, and oh, is that new? No, nah, it's always been like this. I was bawling, crying. Man, you got jokes, KJM. <laughs> Can't find the real number of actual Bitcoin up for sale. Not mined, not on the exchanges. The real number. That's actually a good question there, CW. We want to know. I believe Grayscale dumped to avoid the entanglements with FTX, Silicon Valley Bank, and Signature Bank. That could be it. There has to be reason to the madness. Damn, I'm buying a Lambo on Amazon. Get it, Matt. That would be lit. You already know. Again. Call me 3AC cause I'm blowing it up Short squeeze more please Yeah it's going to pump They drop food but it's still not Slowing us up We won't stop till the feds start showing us love I kind of wonder if Grayscale and BR are colluding somehow I believe some Amazon, Tesla, Apple Everyone except Bitcoin It benefits them Says so Zach Well look at all the processing fees uh, Look at all the retailers Like even a Walmart Just as an example um, isn't that the biggest uh, physical retail store in the world? Correct me if I'm wrong. But what if they were able to adopt Bitcoin? Because with Bitcoin uh, transactions, the transaction is the settlement. So you would, they would be saving whatever, 1% to 3% and all merchant fees worldwide on billions of dollars worth of transactions. They give that savings to the people. Uh, benefits, clearly. And that's just one example of one retailer. Barry Silver. 
resigns as Grayscale's chairman in December. This was fishy. Good point there. Can I buy Louis Vuitton on Amazon? Nope. That's not happening. Literally 30 minutes ago, I was eating flautas. What are flautas? And when we get to heaven, we are going to be proud. Our kiddos, hoddle chops. Hoddle chops. That's a good one. But anyways, fam, pump the likes, pump the stream. Let's dive into our next story of the day. Discuss the latest with this Pantera fund. Headline reads, Pantera Capital's crypto fund surges 66% amid market optimism. That's right. Pantera's liquid token fund reportedly posted 66% return first quarter of 2024, driven by investments in crypto tokens. Solana, as an example. According to the shareholder letter reviewed by Bloomberg, the fund's strong performance from January to March was also propelled by assets such as Ribbon Finance and Stacks, while exposure to tokens tied to Bitcoin and Ether decreased during that period. Portfolio manager Cosmo Jang told Bloomberg the fund had reduced its Bitcoin holdings by more than half. Boo! Since the beginning of 2024, here's what they said. We'd been pretty heavy in Bitcoin until the start of the year. And I really like each month we have decreased that Bitcoin position meaningfully. Now, data from TradingView showed that the RBN token rose 400% thus far this year, while gains for Solana are at 70%, outperforming Bitcoin's 62.5% appreciation in 2024. Now launched November of 2017, Pantera Liquid Token Fund holds a pool of 10 to 20 liquid tokens. The fund is designed for accredited investors willing to commit a minimum of 100,000 and primarily targets the centralized finance tokens. Pantera Capital is a 5.2 billion asset manager and an early investor in the crypto space. The firm recently raised around a quarter billion to buy sole tokens from former crypto exchange, FTX. And that's right, Solana was one of the SAM coins. The tokens were reportedly purchased for 64 bucks, about 60% below the current market price. Sol's price performance has been attributed to a rise in its blockchain market dominance and the crazy meme coin frenzies. And on April 3rd, meme coins like Whiff and Bonk continue to rise in popularity, along with the recently launched Cat in the Dog's World and Book a Meme. And according to a CoinShares report, institutional investors poured almost $25 million into Soul based investment funds in March supporting the tokens price rise. So there you have it. And by a show of hands, I'm curious anyone here uh, bullish on any of those meme coins on the Solana blockchain, such as Whiff or Bonk or Solana in of itself? Curious? Let me know. Welcome everyone to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Smash the likes and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the reminder, K Jam. You're always doing a fantastic job. Hut 8 Mining reporting banks and funds, contacting them direct to purchase Bitcoin direct. Hut 8 rejected all offers thus far. Wow, good to note. Uh, let's auction off your hat, bro. First bid, 20 bucks. <laughs> then what am I going to wear? Don't stop. Get it, fam. You already know. If Mr. 100 is Jeff, he may soon be selling Bitcoin on Amazon. That's what I'm saying, Mark. One big announcement like that, going to catch wildfire, I'm saying. The FOMO kicks in pretty quick. Imagine if Walmart not only saved the credit card fees, but also charged 1% to 2% processing fee to take Bitcoin. Holy profit margins, Batman. Not that I agree with the processing fee. Great point, Steve. That's what I'm saying. Let's use our imaginations. Jerome, if Scarelli is saying this, take it seriously. He is one of the smartest people I have met. Wow, so you know Mark Scarelli? Cheers, fam. I dabbed into all those meme coins, Solana chain failures like every other third trader swap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mahler's actually called out Solana for that as well when he gave the speech at the conference. I turned 10 people into full coiners. I am proud it's all legacy I leave behind. You got to leave behind the legacy system family. And it's kind of ironic it's called the legacy system because we're leaving the legacy system behind. It's no longer the legacy system for longer than just buy JV's hat. On the, is, yes, that's right. I have a merch store, merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. You may not find that same exact hat, but there's a ton to choose from, family. Uh, support the shop, support the show, support the stream. Respect, appreciated. Let's freaking go. Five-star pull-up, send it. Only incredible edible BTC. My son had a mining account a long time ago. I wish we could find it. Ooh, for real. I'm not into the meme coins either, says Marty. I never have. I've never purchased a meme coin personally. If I want to spend Bitcoin at Walmart, I just use my Coinbase debit card. 
Right on. Uh, what are the rewards like with the Coinbase uh, credit card? I would imagine you're getting some sort of rewards back. I'm curious. Let me know what you guys are getting. And if there's any other exchanges offering uh, credit back rewards uh, in Bitcoin, that'd be pretty lit. So I'm curious. Let me know the percentages on that. I turned 10 people into full coiners. That's what's up. Golly, congratulations. Respect on that. Keep orange pill in the world. Not slowing it up. I can't wait till the Fed start showing us love. The full flag on the chart got me blowing a nut. If I, yeah, man. You got to do what you got to do. Oh. Wales. 0.5% Bitcoin in every dollar is pretty lit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a half a Bitcoin on every dollar. Send it. How much can you spend? Anyways, guys, keep the comments pumping. Welcome everyone joining us. Zach, is that El Salvador? It's hard to see the flag because it's so tiny. I just noticed white and blue. So I'm guessing, but I can't tell. Let me know. Let me know. But anyways, fam, let's dive into this Bitcoin having a little deeper before we dive into the latest prediction from Martin Scarelli, giving Bitcoin a 75% chance probability of hitting a million dollars this year in 2024. But first, here's the latest regarding Coinbase on the halving. Many crypto traders are eyeing the Bitcoin halving event as the primary driver for a potential price spike, but the time of year will be an obstacle, according to Coinbase. The crypto market will need to find another narrative to further push up the prices across the board says Coinbase further explaining in an April 5th commentary report, quoting them here, the Bitcoin halving currently due April 20th or the 21st, 420, could be a catalyst for the higher prices, but it'll have to contend with what is typically a weak time of the year for crypto markets and other risk assets. Personally, I think it's irrelevant of uh, the time of the year. I mean, Bitcoin has been doing remarkable things on unexpected uh, timelines, uh, just like we witnessed last year as well as already this year. We've been on a hell of a tear. But anyways, Bitcoin has typically seen a monthly return of 2.7% from June to September since 2011. And while in the other eight months, average a return of around 19%, according to data from Brave New Coin. Meanwhile, Coinbase further noted that the overall crypto volumes have also continued to slow as the market tries to find the next narrative to power it higher. Over the last 24 hours, a total crypto volume was almost 62 billion, a 33% decrease from the previous day, according to Coin Market Cap. However, crypto exchanges see signs pointing towards the likelihood of an increase in new investors entering the crypto market in the near future, quoting them again, in our view, Bitcoin's increased acceptance as a form of digital gold could enable demand from a new subset of investors in this market regime. Now, Bitcoin's dominance in the overall crypto market is currently 50.6%, according to CoinStats, which is the market cap of Bitcoin relative to the overall crypto market. Furthermore, the report explained that those waiting for the price declines to invest may find troughs to be less and less as more investors get involved, quoting them again. As a result, we think dips are likely to be more aggressively bought compared to previous cycles, even as volatility persists during price discovery. And price discovery ultimately means new all-time highs. Having events have frequently been associated with spikes in the price of biddies. Following the previous halving in May of 2020, the Bitcoin price surged, starting at 8700 during the having and breaching 69,000 by November of 2021. And as reported, the U.S. State, uh, U.S. Court of Appeals for the circuit, uh, Second Circuit ruled in favor of Coinbase just recently, confirming that the secondary sales of cryptos on its platform did not violate the Securities Exchange Act. The platforms contended that Coinbase was offering and selling unregistered securities. Sorry, Mr. Gensler. Furthermore, they accused the exchange of violating various provisions of security laws. However, Coinbase argued that the secondary crypto asset sales didn't meet securities transaction criteria, disputing the relevance of securities regulations. So there you have it. Only 11 days left until this Bitcoin having, I personally feel regardless of the time of the year, the having occurs, it's going to be bullish. And I think post having is when the real fireworks will begin. 
But let me know your thoughts as Bitcoin continues ascending. We're now up over $1,000 on the day. So massive shout out to all my Bitcoin hodlers and everyone just joining the stream. Welcome to the number one daily Bitcoin pod. Pump the likes to pump the stream. Let's get over 500 people on here. It's currently 481. We can do better. And shout out to the Rumble fam as well. Charles says, Coinbase, go to hell. <laughs> Thanks. We'll check it out. Says Richard, I've missed you guys. Somehow YouTube unsubscribed me. And so I wasn't getting notifications. That explains why less and less people are tuned in every day. Uh, thank you, YouTube, for that. Uh, thank you for unsubscribing my audience. Uh, <laughs> sucks. <laughs> they try to manipulate all the time. It's normal for any market for the people and the institutions to try to manipulate. When Bitcoin goes to quadrillion, might sell a little. There you go, little germ. Pump it up, Kevin. Cheers, Kevin Smith. Respect. That's a good return. I'm going to look at it. it. Says Rizzo. Let's get it. First, Mao, now Scarelli. One million bitty. I could get new seat covers for my Pinto. <laughs> It is cool. I have been using their debit card for everything as far as gas and bills. I pretty do not use the banks no more. Good for you, Joe. Well, no, but really, JB, what's the second best crypto? There is no second best. There is no second best crypto asset. There's a crypto asset. It's called Bitcoin, right? Yes, I've had Bitcoin since 2015. So I bought my first biddy at $400. That's why Jennifer is the goat. She is an OG here. Got in Bitcoin at 400 bucks. Try to beat that one, family. YouTube unsubscribes me all the time. Sorry to hear that, guys. I don't know what to, what to say to you. Uh, back Bletch, uh, appreciate you. Just note, we're also on Rumble. Rumble is uncensored, and I highly encourage you guys to all follow me on Rumble. We stream daily on Rumble alongside YouTube. But what's the major difference when the YouTube stream ends, we continue exclusively on Rumble with the uncensored version of the pod. So I encourage you all to subscribe to me on Rumble. Like the stream, everyone, please. Thank you, Nick. We got to fight back against these shadow bans. Yeah, for some reason, it made you shuffle from my recommended videos. I had to actually type your name in instead of you popping up normally. Sorry to hear that, Jay Ford. The algorithm's been doing me dirty. Yes, FJB, while we're at it, Joe Folan. The way the economy is going, it'll be one Bitcoin for a Big Mac. For real. <laughs> Shout out Rizzo. Appreciate the super. Uh, you, JV, YouTube will unsub and not notify people if they aren't paying for premium. I know because I used to get that before I started paying for premium. Well, there's a reason to pay for premium. But at the same time, completely understand if you guys don't want to give YouTube your money. Either way, whatever you guys want to do, respect. 5% of Bitcoin for spending money. I will. Anyways, it's a nice idea. The same says Dirty Bird. YouTube needs some of that. <laughs> coq in you i mean it's 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 disgraceful youtube why do you got to do me dirty like that i've been streaming for six years for christ's sake this is episode number 1602 you're just going to unsubscribe my viewers without their permission as if they don't have notifications turned on just don't show them my content shadow ban me and the algorithms what's up I'm calling you out. 1,811 blocks to go. I am waiting for Robinhood to relist Solana, Cardano, and Polygon. Uh, why did they take them off? Was that due to some lawsuit versus the SEC? I'm curious. Uh, welcome, Adam. Good to see you, Broski. Yep, I get it, says Steve. Got it. Good. Get it. Got it. Good. Representing every day, BTC. Rizzo. Rumble, send me the alert. Send me the alert. Yeah, Rumble. No problem. You're going to get the alerts. So there you go. Make sure to subscribe to me on Rumble. My man, let's go. Shout out Chris June. JV, they're telling you that you've been naughty in their eyes. You're going to give me some coal for Christmas this year? What does that mean? I've been naughty in their eyes. Did I say, did we, did we have one too many FJB chants? <laughs> Is that what's going on right now? What about Noster? I mean, I do have a Noster account. I'm not familiar with Primal. Is that another one? I never got shadow banned and I never got unsubscribed. Just in case anyone was wondering. Not sure why it happens though. But it's too bad. It is too bad. Yes, YouTube is playing with your subs. It seems that way. Uh, Quitcha fan, welcome. Appreciate your support. Yeah, I mean, when we crossed 40,000 for the first time in like a year or two, 
we were having over a thousand, two, three, four, five thousand people on the stream and things seem normal. And now we're back down to 500 people on a stream and we're at roughly 70,000. Makes no sense. But hey, I, you know, I can't, con if I can't control it, I can't get mad over it beyond my control. FJB says, Johnny Lee, now we're talking. They're scared of you, JV. I just don't know what to think. Biddies and fitties, stack the fitties for the biddies, the biddies for the fitty, 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 fitty biddies. Only sub I got at 15 inches of base. <laughs> YouTube thinks you're a, yeah, maybe they do. You know, maybe they just censor the chat. They see the topics of conversation people are asking and they're like, silence that man. Boo tube. But anyways, fam, keep the comments flowing. I greatly appreciate all the support. But now let's dive into our feature story of the day. We have Pharma Bro, Martin Scarelli, predicting Bitcoin hitting $1 million per coin this year in 2024, giving it a 75% probability. So let's break it down. Uh, yeah, as the headline reads here, but let's start with the actual uh, tweet he just recently wrote on April 1st, which had 1.4 million views. I think there's a 75% chance of Bitcoin being a million dollars by year end. I can't talk about the thesis, but that's it. My prediction. And naturally, being it was April 1st, I think people assumed, ha, 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 April Fools. Uh, someone wrote here, if Bitcoin hit 1 million by the end of the year, then that would mean we reached a systemic collapse of fiat confidence and likely the worst recession, depression anyone alive has experienced. Retail FOMO and ETFs alone can't drive a top like that over that short a duration. And he responded, not necessarily though. And the other guy responded, it'd require 14.6 X from here, 1.345 trillion to nearly 20 trillion market cap in just nine months. It would be the single largest and fastest rise in any asset in the history of the civilized world. That's an asset increase that's equal to the aggregate gold, silver, Apple, Microsoft market caps combined. And then someone else chimed in, Bitcoin has risen much faster than 14.6x in nine months in the past, 2013 and 2017, for instance. Good points. Obviously, it had much smaller market cap uh, back then. Good points. And then uh, someone wrote, yeah, pushing the denominator of the size is a challenge. Then again, crazier things have happened in history and pretty good little back and forth. But nonetheless, uh, let's dive into the article, which was written based upon this synopsis. Former pharmaceutical executive Martin Scarelli made the bold prediction Monday, proclaiming 75% chance the Bitcoin reaches a million dollars by the end of the year. Does that sound familiar? We also had, had Samson Mao predicting 1 million per coin this year, which we'd covered a few times on the pod. Now, what happened? Scarelli, who was convicted of securities fraud in 2018, sentenced to seven years in prison, took to his ex account to voice his opinion, which I just read out loud. He dismissed comments that his prediction is an April Fool's Day joke. Scarelli did not provide a thesis for his prediction, as commentators pointed out, saying he just wanted to document the call. Scarelli shrugged off the argument that such a scenario would require a systemic collapse of fiat confidence and likely the worst recession or depression anyone has lived through and experienced with the words, not necessarily. Now, Scarelli's call far exceeds the bullish prediction of hedge fund manager Mark Yusko, who foresees the Bitcoin price spike to $150,000 within the next 12 months. Quoting him here, Bitcoin is the king. It is the dominant token. It is a better form of gold. He shared on CNBC's Fast Money. And quoting Max Kaiser, gold is the poor man's Bitcoin. Now, Yusko also said that it can go up 10x from here easily over the next decade. Now, if we 10x from the current price action, we're discussing like a $700,000 Bitcoin price family. That's when things get very exciting. Now, Scarelli joins the ranks of hyper bullish Bitcoin predictions, such as ARK Invest's CEO, Kathy Wood, predicting the apex predator soaring to 3.8 million per Bitcoin by the end of the decade, which I've recently covered here as well on the pod. If you've missed that episode, be sure to check it out. Now, in the short run, Bitcoin is looking to maintain its winning streak, recording its seventh straight monthly green candle and highest ever monthly close. So you already know, family. Let me know your thoughts surrounding Scarelli's 1 million price prediction. Do you think that's overly bullish? Why do you think he didn't have any thesis 
or comment, uh, commentary to share on that. Do you respect that target? Do you think there is a 75% probability? Or do you flip that? Maybe you think there's only a 25% probability. Or do you just think it's outrageous and maybe only a 5 to 10% probability? Here's where I stand. Uh, my price prediction for the cycle remains. My bear scenario, 222000 That's my low. And my bull scenario, 750000 per coin. Scarelli's target... For this year in 2024, I'd give it 10 to 15 percent chance probability. By next year, I'd give it a little higher, maybe 20 to 25 percent chance probability. But I'm still feeling it's not likely to happen this cycle. But the following cycle, the 2028 having, that's when I can realistically see Bitcoin hitting a million dollars per coin, taking out some of Kathy Wood's price targets. And by the year 2030 at the top of the decade, smashing 3.8 million. Sounds good to me, but let me know your thoughts. Are you bullish as Scarelli? Do you think that's a crazy target? Do you think it's realistic? What's your probability you're going to throw on that? Holla at your boy. And let's le uh, read some of the, the chat. And I got a little track to play for you guys because you guys keep referencing it. But like most of the people who are buying assets at some point want to sell the assets out of profit. Shout out dankness. Nothing like getting out of the shower or the towel for an hour to be sticky with humidity. It's brutal. It's brutal here right now, fam. In Puerto Rico, I walked Nipsey earlier. I was like, damn, this heat wave is pretty serious, yo. So you're not alone. People, 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 people that, use. that use. Sell them, sailor. I think and go to 150 G, says Chris. One MIO, 2.5 possibility this year. Screlly ain't wrong on this one. Right on, little germ. I hope he's right. I think we all hope he's right. Love JV's prediction. Thank you, Devon. Less than 1% chance, says Steven. Use, use. Fiat, fiat, fiat. fiat. Currency. Currency. As a store of value, what do we call them, folks? Larry. As a store of, <laughs> store of, store of. Of value. Value, 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 we call them we core. core. Tell them, Michael. We call them we core. What is that, Michael? We didn't hear you. One million Bitcoin seems obvious with the outrageous supply demand imbalance, says Thomas. Right on. Free ball to the humidity, and we're free, free balling. Use fiat. Currency. My bear is sideways action, 80 Gs. Word. 2016, 288 home, took 664 Bitcoin to buy. Same home, 2020, now valued at 328,000, 45 Bitcoin to buy. Same in 2024, 434,000, only took less than six Bitcoin to buy. Let that sink in. Watching from Philly, we just don't know. I think the top is going to blow faster than I think it's becoming before going mainstream every day. And we think this is before Bitcoin has jumped about two FIB levels. Right on. Jose, we're welcome. January 31st, February. Connor, uh, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. Six inches of snow last night. Whoa. What what city you in there, fam? You can take about an hour of the tower, the power. 500,000 next year. Send it, GG. 1 million 2025, not 2024. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I give it a 0.01% chance of this year. Wow. I think your prediction is much closer. Thank you, Kevin. What do you think about the bull run manipulator, blockader, nippinator? I don't know. Why do I do not have respect for the SEC? Tell him, Elon. Bitcoin will never reach 1 million. The people are crazy who think that. So you say just never? Like it can't happen? Why so sure? It's because the SEC... Uh, knew that funding was secured. Bitcoin millionaire is a trillionaire in fiat. They just haven't caught up yet. <laughs> Buy them while they on sale. Sats for the win. Amen to that. Sats for the win. I keep only 5000 in the bank for the bills. Hold the rest in the biddies. Cheers to that, Dirty. Um, but they pursued the uh, an active public investigation nonetheless. I am mining Cospo on my phone and laptop so I can reach, uh, cash out and buy more sats. Buy those sats. Too many frogs and skin. Uh, These clowns trying to take us down. What a guy. Wow, what a guy. Wow, what a guy. At the time, Tesla was in a precarious financial situation. And I was told by the banks that if I did not agree to, to settle with the SEC, that they would, the banks would cease providing working capital and Tesla would go bankrupt immediately. Whoa. What's that smell? Smells like securities. And let me just say, guess who's back? Gary's back. If it hits a million... 
What does a loaf of bread cost? I mean, that's a great question, Jay. Um, more than likely, we'll have hyperinflation here. Does anyone have any stats on Bitcoins on exchanges that have not traded for periods of time? This can help figuring out the true scarcity. JV on the decks, DJ JV, let her rip. So that's like having a gun to your child's head. Back, back, back again. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just. Gary's back. back, back. Uh, Tell a friend. Uh, so I was forced to concede to the SEC unlawfully. Unlawfully, he says. Favorite hardware wallet is an excellent question. I want the, the fam to answer that one because there's a half a dozen viable solutions for hard, hard wallets for you guys to choose from. So what do you guys say? Let me know. Those bastards. <laughs> um, <laughs> By the end of 2025, the only Bitcoin available will be if you mine it. Tell them electricity prices are going up. Miners earning less. What will happen eventually? Can't Bitcoin crash because it is getting to pay the miners for their job? Ask Chris. What's that all time high, JV? You already know, fam. We'll play that track next. And 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 now they th they think uh, it, it makes it look like I lied when I did not in fact lie. Oh, Elon! It made him look like he lied when in fact he did not lie. The SEC pointed a gun to his head. It smells like securities. Na, 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 na. A lot of recommendations say the Trezor. There you go. Cold Card is another highly recommended uh, wallet. YubiKey. Tangem, Blockstream, Jade, all recommended here from the fam. Thank you guys for the feedback. I was, I was forced to admit that I lied for, to save Tesla's life, and that's the only reason. Uh, I do I do? What is it about Bitcoin that causes you to conclude it is not a security? Well, there's it, uh, one is there's no group of individuals in the middle. Right, it's there's decentralized. There's no group of individuals. I've created some guidelines. Where? Because all of my overlords told me to stop crypto shops. They got bigger. Individuals in the middle. Right. Oh. You want help? Well, this is what I'll oh. give you. A little middle finger mixed with the lost tooth. Yeah. They must have. That or. My point is it is not reasonable to fail to provide clarity. I forgot who I am, what I'm up to. Yeah. Pick up the phone when you call something I'll not do. Yeah. SEC, the mafia from within. Tell them I am leaning towards the treasure, says Joe. Thoughts, if they double the electricity cost the miners, this would be the same as another halving, says Bullets. Philippines, January Globe, the new Bitcoin call right on. Elon never lies. Get your Bitcoin off the exchanges. Most Bitcoin miners have large data centers. They can run many other virtual workloads other than mining. Good point, Greg. That Musk character is not space. <laughs> Plan B is a is Dutch. So yes, he is right. <laughs> Do you see Bitcoin hitting 500,000 within the next year? It's in my target range, Jay. There's no guarantee on that, but very probable. It can happen. It can happen. It can happen. Elon only lied that once. Uh, no Claire or hair gear. That would be the Care Bear. No Claire gear. No hair for you. Coal card, super small, easy to use. A battery car never left the ground, let alone space. <laughs> it ain't that much. It ain't Dutch. There you go, Robbie. Shout out to my Dutch fam. I grew up in a Dutch town over in Solvang, California. And uh, also a lot of Dutch, of course, in Amsterdam. A great place to visit. Shout out to my Amsterdam fam. Uh, do you save your hair, guys? <laughs> what? Uh, seed signer only. What's the seed signer, GG? Is that Gensler? Gensler, is that you, bro? We're just bumping your track here. Well, well, well. You know what time it is. Woo! We back, baby. 60 Gs, baby! <laughs> Bitcoins, shitcoins, or NFTs. No Whip P. Anderson's. You got that right, K-Jam? Real <laughs> and then hitting that sweet, sweet. <laughs> Watch it pump to the sky, we just buy and get yeah. rich 60 G's, baby! Yeah. Old time high, old time high, old time high in this yeah. bitch yeah. It's red panty night when you sign to fight me, yeah? Back at your back at home with your wife yeah. Watch it pump, pump, baby, uh. we just buy and get rich yeah. It's a celebration People are always saying about the talk and I talk and I talk and yeah.
go. Back, we back in the black, we back in the green. Got the team all around me, we rowdy and causing scenes. Woo! You just shook up the world. Been, grab a cup, baby, come and take a sip. How's oh that feel? God, yo, what's up? Hey, I'm not surprised, mother. <laughs> Man, you did it, oh, the oh, that's rough, oh, that's tough, oh, that's really gotta suck. Yeah. Only problem that we got is that we didn't buy enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the ten says commandments. Let's go. Welcome everyone to the stream live and in the flesh. Bitcoin up 900 bucks on the day. Shout out to the broskies. The everlasting bliss. What it do, Zolan. What it do. c says Elon Musk has been in some tight squeezes. Still, I am glad the U.S. and EV leader. Tesla is the biggest EV seller for the last quarter again. Please research BNBTC first before you comment. Don't fight my BNBTC and Satoshi True Vision or peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash Azulian. Uh, 70 G's feel small. <laughs> 70,000 income in. Uh, 1.8 million. That makes it nearly three times the value of gold. February, BCH, LTC. Uh, what up from Winnipeg? Shout out to Darth Cater. Where's Darth Melda? I miss her. Where's she been? Anyone know? Let me know. We call them the poor. Scheduled for this week, JV. Right on. The human race has never had an effective money. Um hey, pay attention on how I break this Bitcoin slang down. Pump it up, don't you know? Pump it up, you got to pump it up. FYI, Mr. Dazuki, no clickbait. That's a legitimate price target in the headline or title of today's video and martin scarelli i shared his tweet uh, just finished sharing it and his prediction from the article and he did say uh, bitcoin he believes will hit a million dollars per coin he gives it a 75 percent chance probability this year if you can't handle it i mean teach their own it's not me jb doing this but we all suspect i didn't say you're naughty but hey likely do either way speak should be free speech amen on that hydrogen kills the battery car invest wisely what's your favorite place that you have lived jv uh very valid question there kevin uh puerto rico's up there that's why i'm here you know i choose to live here uh besides puerto rico uh medellin colombia was definitely a beautiful place to live one of the most beautiful cities perfect weather year round it translates to the city of eternal spring because it's spring it feels like spring year round uh, in Medellin, perfect weather. Uh, the mountains are beautiful, the city is beautiful, the people are beautiful. Uh, besides that, um, man, I really enjoyed spending uh, time in Thailand. I spent a month out there. Uh, definitely one of my favorite Asian countries. Uh, Bali was pretty nice. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many beautiful places to visit. But yeah, my home, I still consider Puerto Rico, of course. I live here and where my family, a lot of my family is in Florida. So still got a lot of love for Florida. The new Bitcoin call, BN, oh my God, enough of the new Bitcoin. It's like you, if, if you're promoting an altcoin, you got to have a, a better like prospectus or like bullet point than the, the, the better Bitcoin or the new Bitcoin or like Bitcoin, but better. Because that just sounds like a scam because we've heard that 10 million times from like BitConnect and every other, you know, Ponzi scheme that come before us. JV, are you a fluent Spanish speaker? Uh, I wish. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not. And I know that's a bad look, especially living here. Uh, but uh, I need some help with my Spanish. Wow, Colombia. Yeah, Colombia is beautiful, Devon. You got to check it out. Great place to see and uh, experience. New Bitcoin. What? Yeah, so enough of the shilling of the new Bitcoin, guys. There's no new Bitcoin. There's the original Bitcoin. <laughs> Stay away from anything promoting themselves as the new Bitcoin because it's a scam, guaranteed. I can just tell you by your pitch. Your pitch is off. That's like going to Shark Tank. Yeah, you know I mean, I have the new Bitcoin to pitch to you. Or you were to say, this is the new Amway, sharks. Uh, here's how it works. It starts in a pyramid. I'm going to be at the top. You sharks are going to be below me. And then we're going to get distribution. And then everything's going to go up to us because we're at the top of the pyramid is ultimately what it sounds like. I'm just saying. Like newcomers that buy Bitcoin Cash because it sounds good to them, pretty much. Omega Candle, send it. Florida in the house. Shout out Michael Mike. 
Shout out Trini. Good to see you, family. Trinidad, let's go. Colombian women, says Kevin Smith. You already know. The Bitcoin. What does that say? The Bitcoin is XRP, though. Uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Because you were disrespectful, I will remove the name. No warnings. That's right. No disrespect is tolerated in our chat. Excuse me for my little burpage there. Respect everyone in here, especially the moderators uh, dedicating themselves. They do this out of service to others. This entire show is dedicated for service to others, so we don't tolerate disrespect. Uh, Bitcoin universal language. Facts, Larry. Grew up right by Amway headquarters. Small world. Now, no disrespect to Amway. I know they're doing big things, but you saw my point, right? Uh, when I asked my friend who first sold my biddies where he is retiring to me, he said, Mo uh, Molly? What's Molly? Uh, fat fingers actually meant Bali. Oh, <laughs> Bali. Gotcha. Yeah, Bali is a pretty cool place. Uh, I experienced, I only been there for a month, but it was pretty cool to visit as well. But I'd say my favorite is definitely Thailand, especially considering they have uh, medical cannabis. That's a big factor. XRP equals extra rug pull, says Miles. It's almost like investing in a company that does not exist. You know who Satoshi was talking about in XRP, right? Uh, I don't recall XRP existing uh, back then. So no, I have no idea what you're talking about. I was never disrespectful, says Benzo. Good. <laughs> Good. XRP is going at zero against Bitcoin. Bitcoin. The only non-GMO corn is the Bitcoin. Stack the corn. <laughs> I've been to Bali too. Nice. I made a wheel that was rounder than all the other wheels, but I lost it. Oh boy. It happens. You need to spend three hours a day learning Spanish to achieve fluency in around six months time. Thank you, Moonshine Fuel. Thank you. CBDs is all be smoking, kick the CBDCs. Amen. They're getting rid of the legal weed in Thailand. They're getting rid of it already. Didn't they just make it legal like within a couple of years ago? For real? What's their logic there? I thought it was going, going fantastic. Pound that like button. Thank you, Paul. Now, why that's a big deal, it being legal in Thailand, is because most Asian countries treat cannabis the same as all the other hardcore narcotics that can kill you. And I won't mention the names of those narcotics here on the stream, but they classify it the same. So real life example, I lived in China, so I know. I lived there for 13 months, 2010, 2011. And so if you get caught with cannabis in China, death penalty. S same treatment as if you had hardcore narcotics, there's no difference whatsoever. And a lot of Asia views cannabis in that same predicament. So that's why I say, whoa, Thailand, uh, respect. So hopefully I don't move away from that. Hopefully more Asian countries adopt that because obviously, why wouldn't they? Maybe, you know what I mean? Pharmaceutical companies lose some profits because they eat into that. You do the math. Politics was the best part of Thailand, says Bobby Digital. Stay away from Seoul. Stay away from Seoul away. I like that. Facts. It's your world. Stop. Female basketball player with CBD in Russia. Word. The one that is uh, really a man. They pretend to be a woman. Is that the one you're referring to? Uh, China sounds fun. No, it's really not. <laughs> Vaping is illegal in Thailand. I'm not surprised. But are you saying even if you have the license, like medically, love me some China food? Yeah. China food is good. Shout out Nipsey. It looks like he's given us a, a signal. Jet ski and Russian jet ski. Jet skiing in Russia. You're on YouTube, JB. Thanks for the reminder, KJM. Thanks for the reminder. And speaking of that, 
Uh, we're going to move this party to Rumble so I can speak freely. Uh, head on over to Rumble. My Rumble link is in the description. It's rumble.cryptonewslayers.net or simply open the Rumble app, type in Crypto News Alerts, And for those who are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, if you don't know, I stream live every day on YouTube and Rumble. And when the YouTube stream is officially over, we continue with the uncensored version of the podcast podcast exclusively on rumble so head on over to rumble right now and let's get this after party started shall we head on over to rumble see you there peace all right youtube stream should be finito shout out to the rumble stream